Mr. Speaker. I've, I've been looking forward to this because I know that you can't sit me down for the fifth time. <laughs> but I won't test you. Tonga Te mana o te ariki Because you're magic You're magic people to me You're magic people to me Hold your head up high Let your voices fly I'm proud to be Māori Because you're magic You're magic people to me your magic people to me. Hold your head up high, let your voices fly. I'm proud to be Māori. Proud to be Māori. Proud to be Māori. He honore he kororia ki te atua he mau ngā rongo ki te whenua he whakaaro pai ki ngā tāngata katoa. Amen. Tangihia rā ngā mate putiputi o te wā, rā tau te hunga wairua ko riro tītapu ki te pō. Whātu rā kou tau i runga i te ara kōrero ko parangia te tini e te manu. Hoake kou tau ki tua rei tū, ki tua rei au, ki te huinga o te kahurangi, ki te kahui matariki. Kou tau e te hunga oki oki. Haere, haere, whakangaro atura. Tēnā tātau e hika mā, tēnā tātau e te whare. Te ati awa, te mana whenua o tēnei wāhi, karanga mai, mihi mai, whakatau maira. Ahu mairangi te maunga whakahi e tū mai nei, e tū, e tū, e tū. Te moana e haruru nei, te whanganui a tara, papaki maira, papaki maira, papaki maira. Tēnā koe e te pika. E pupuri nei i te mauri o tēnei whare. Ngā mihi nui, kia koe. E ngā mema o te pare mata. Ngā kai pīkau o ngā wawata me ngā tūmana kohanga o te motu. Tēnei te mihi atu kia koutau e hikama. E ngā apiha hoki, ngā kai mahi o te whare, ka mihi ano hoki kia koutau. E ngā mana, e ngā reo, E ngā kārangaranga maha, te whānau ko whakawhāiti nei, ngā iwi ko pai nei. Koutou i takahia mai te nuku o te ika a Māui tiki-tiki. Koutou i raha mai nā i ngā parirau o te manu nui a rua kapanga. Kia tau ki ngā tiriti pū kohu o pōneke, ki tēnei karanga whare, a te pū ngā were-were, a te rūru, haere mai, haere mai, haere mai. E te waiariki. Nā koutou i whakatau hia ki anoho awahau ki runga i tēnei tūru, hei māngai, mā koutou. Nā koutou i whakaitia ki a Māori a ke te reo, te wairua me te whakaaro o tēnei tūru o te waiariki. Mai make tū ki tonga riro, mai ngā kuri a whārei ki tihirau, nā koutou te mana o tēnei tūru kua tau. Tēnā tātou e hikama. I want to acknowledge the place in which, I, in which we stand. And before I do, like I said in a speech at our Māori Party launch in March this year, I strategically asked for the launch to be at Waini Waititi Marae. Why? Because all you will hear is Waititi, Waititi, Waititi. <laughs> I then said, no mai haere mai ki te marae o Rāwiri Waititi. <laughs> well, guess what? The land outside of Parliament is called Waititi. <laughs> and in every whakatau we have had so far, all I have heard is Waititi, Waititi, Waititi. 
Nā reira nau mai hara mai ki te whare paremata o Rāwiri Waititi. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, I believe you may be sitting in my seat. <laughs> I haven't got to sit down yet, so kei pai. <laughs> I want to at this time to me to a true, to a true political hero o te ao Māori, Dame Tāria Naturia, who courageously walked across the very floor, this very floor, and stood up for her people. She stood up against the degradation of the mana o te iwi Māori, mo te tahuna o te takutai moana. Her unapologetic voice and commitment to te iwi Māori is the very reason why I am here and representing Te Pāti Māori as the new Member of Parliament for Te Wairiki. Her courage has inspired a whole generation and her act of bravery continues to inspire me today. E kui e te iti matakahi maire i whakahinga i te rākau, ka tuohu. Ka tu awa hau i ki roto i tēnei i whare ka ronga awa hau i te wairua tā tātou krau a tā apira nangata. I stand in this house and I feel the presence of our kraua, so apira nangata. An iwi and political leader who had no bounds. And because there are Ngātis present, a Ngāti pro leader and politician, but because this is my maiden speech, he also has very strong affiliations to Te Whānau Apadu, Mr Speaker. <laughs> Apira Nangata is one of Aotearoa's best known rangatira, living and working according to the traditional iwi structures, and as the Member of Parliament for Eastern Māori, he acted to strengthen te iwi Māori, te reo me o his drive for the betterment and the citizenship of his people came at great sacrifice. For God, for King and for country was the call to arms for the price of citizenship. Ake ake kia kahai. So Apira Nangata argued that Māori support of the war effort was the ultimate way to honour the treaty and gain equality with and respect of Pākehā. 75 years later, we are still arguing the validity of our participation in the great walls, the place names that decorate the very walls of this house. Has the treaty been honoured? Did we gain the respect of Pākehā? Article 1, consent to the Crown to custodianship and to kāwanatanga, not ownership, nor sovereignty. Article 2 was the, was the security of the absolute mana of tangata whenua over Aotearoa. Our land, our rivers, our sea, our forest, our traditions and practices, our people, our mokopuna. Article 3 was about equality, that Māori would be treated as equal citizens in Aotearoa. 255 years of colonisation, 175 years of the signing of Hefakaputanga, the Declaration of Independence, and 180 years since the Tiriti of Waitangi was signed, what has been delivered to us? I take an analogy about the current treaty partnership between Pākehā and Tangata Whenua used by Uncle Tamati Reedy, who was supposed to be present today but fell ill this morning. The great white shark Pākehā and the Kahawai Māori, the great white shark said to the Kahawai, should we form a partnership? The Kahawai replied, yes, that sounds like a fantastic idea. The great white shark then ate the kahawai and said, now we are one. <laughs> As Dame Tariya Naturia stated in her maiden speech, what has been delivered to us? 180 years of struggling to have the treaty recognised in law, that we have survived despite cultural extermination practices, assimilation of policies, monocultural institutions, treacherous land-stealing laws, tauiwi bureaucracies that have run our affairs, denial of our tangata whenua status and struggling to maintain cultural identity, integrity, tikanga and to keep our language alive. Now that now the largest media publisher in Aotearoa stuff has publicly apologised for the way it has portrayed Māori over the past 160 years, after an internal investigation uncovered evidence of racism and marginalisation, in its representation of the country's indigenous people, the true indigenous people, Te Iwi Māori, Mr Speaker. 
They have said sorry to Māori for the monocultural viewpoint that has sought to oppress tangata whenua. They have said sorry to Māori for continuing to create and reinforce the negative narrative of tangata whenua that keeps our people at the bottom of the heap. They have said sorry to Māori for aiding and abetting the system of racism that strips us of our spirit and our oranga. But Mr Speaker, they have taken responsibility for their failings. They have owned their failings and they have made a commitment to do better. My question to you, Mr Speaker, and to this House, is when will the Crown do the same? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for the monocultural viewpoint that has sought to oppress tangata whenua? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for continuing to reinforce the negative narrative of tangata whenua? When will the Crown say they are sorry to Māori for aiding and abetting the system of racism that strips us of our spirit and our oranga? When will the Crown take responsibility for their failings? When will the Crown own their failings and commit to doing better? I refuse to allow my tamariki or my mokopuna to one day sit in the same seat asking the same question. We will no longer accept this approach as it allows the state to continue to feast on the dysfunction that it has created amongst our people. We will no longer accept that the state continues to fund itself every year to allow Oranga Tamariki to steal more of our babies, a justice system to lock out more of our people, a welfare system that keeps my people dependent and poor, an education system that keeps my people dumb, a health system that keeps my people sick, and a housing system that keeps my people homeless. This has to stop. Einstein said, Mr Speaker, stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. It is time to transform the way we do politics in Aotearoa. It is time for Māori to look after Māori as we know what is best for us. COVID-19 lockdown showed Māori, showed how Māori can look after themselves without government support or intervention. Apareha Matanui, a prophet from the north, once said, Kau wakara te tiriti o waitangi, e uhia ki te haki o ingarangi. Engari me uhia ki te kahu Māori. Which translate, do not cover the treaty o waitangi with the Union Jack. It must only be covered by our Māori cloak. I am committed to challenging the reason why the Union Jack constant, consistently smothers the tiriti o waitangi, and I am going to take it off. I will ensure that our unapologetic Māori voice is heard and that our Māori cloak is felt and is present in every piece of legislation and bill passed in this House. You know what it feels like to have a pebble in your shoe? That will be my job here. A constant annoying to those holding on to the colonial ways, reminder and change agent for the recognition of our kahu Māori. Oranga whenua, oranga wairua. If the land is healthy, so are the people. Was a, was a twist on the prophet's words uttered by, prophetic words uttered by Uremuratana to pew pew a queer from the Waikato people. Maui we whenua, maui we tangata. When the land is sick, so are the people. It is time for the Crown to honour its treaty, treaty obligation and partnership, and it needs to devolve its resources to a by Māori, for Māori, to Māori approach. We demand a Māori parliament. We want to implement constitutional transformation based on the Matike Maira report. We want to change racist electoral laws so Māori can switch between the Māori and general roles at any time. But first of all, commit Māori to the Māori role and then they can opt out. Establish a commissioner for Te Tiriti o Waitangi to provide oversight of the Crown. Are you listening, Mr Jackson? We want Māori procurement to put Fano first for more than 5%. We want a by Māori, for Māori, mukopuna Māori entity that takes the place of Oranga Tamariki. We want Whānau Ora to, to be better resourced and for all its funding to go to the commissioning agencies and not to Crown agencies. We want Māori proprietary rights recognised when it comes to water. Māori own the water. We want to stop onshore and offshore oil exploration and drilling and also deep sea oil drilling in Aotearoa. We want to officially change the name of, Alte of New Zealand to Aotearoa and all place names to be changed back to their original names. And yes, you guessed it, we want the oath changed. <laughs> to also reflect tangata whenua at the Tiriti o Waitangi. Many political commentators and many members in this house have said that these policies are ambitious. But they also said that 
that of the Māori Party's return to Parliament, but we are here. I, want, um, I have put my hand up to be the voice for my people, not just for the Waiariki, but for Te Iwi Māori. This also comes with great sacrifice. I want to acknowledge my parents both who have struggled this year with health issues, but are here today. I love you both. I want to acknowledge my babies who will have less time with their papa, but they understand that I am trying to, better, uh, to make a better today for their tomorrow. Tawaru huiarangi, te ohanui, tūmanako, this I dedicate to you and your generation. To my beautiful wife, Ngāpui Princess, the last one. <laughs> when I told her I was running again, she said I must have done something bloody wrong in, in, another, in another life. First my dad and now my husband. Thank you for your support, your patience, your strength, your unsolicited advice, but most of all, your love. I love you, my darling. In closing, Mr. Speaker, our tipuna from the Whakatoa Hea Moko Moko was wrongfully convicted and tried for the death of Reverend Wagner in Oportiki, whose head was decapitated. But because he looked like the, prep, the perpetrator and his rope was found at the scene of the crime, he was imprisoned in Mount Eden and hung to death. Mr. Speaker, Māori have had enough of being assimilated and forced to do and look like everyone else. We are not like everyone else. We are unique. Being Māori is like having superpowers. There's no one else in the world like us. And we need to maintain who we are. We are in the business of revival. We are in the business of empowerment. We are in the business of emancipation. Before they hung our tipuna mokoboko, he uttered the words, Tango hia te taura i taku kaki. Kia waiata au i taku waiata. Tango hia te taura i taku kaki. Kia waiata au i taku waiata. Which means, Take the noose from around my neck so that I may sing my song. Therefore, I will adorn myself with the treasures of my ancestors and remove the colonial noose around my neck so that I may sing my song. Nareira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou koutou. It's a guy who's taking the shots up there, one of your guys. Yeah, he's, he's, he's only allowed to take shots of the people. Not everyone else. Can you warn him of that?
Right. I, uh, I think we have a changing of the guard that's going to occur. Um, and if, that, if the people who are going could go, so the people who are coming in could come, I do want to, if I can, get um, uh, Debbie started before we have to adjourn at five o'clock. But just to order, order. I, to save us something at the end, I'm going to indicate that at the conclusion of the next maiden statement, uh, the debate will be interrupted and it will be set down for resumption next sitting day, and further, that the House will stand adjourned until 2 p.m. on Tuesday, the 8th of December. But I know there's a bit of changing round going on, so if the changing round could go and when. Um, when the next speaker is satisfied that it's occurred, she will stand up and I'll call her.
new members will learn that there are some rules uh, here which parallel with some of those of our national sports, and one of them is that the uh, speaker is the sole judge of time. And uh, I probably indicate that, like other historic timepieces politically, uh, that these ones just don't keep very good time. Um, I call for her maiden statement, Narua, sorry, Debbie Narua Packer. Okay.